Hi guys, welcome to another Kamikaze creation video. Before I get started, always forget, it's helping me out, hit that like button. If you like the content I'm producing, hit it up, hit that like button up and uh, that, that pushes the YouTube algorithm, uh, makes them share it a little bit more and gets it out to more people. As I said before, there's some of this content that I'm looking at uh, creating now, I've looked everywhere, uh, again, this channel is about uh, um, learning and sharing car building ideas uh, and it's uh, I'm taking the time to create this content. A uh, great way to give back to me would be hitting that like button. Appreciate it very much. Anyway, here we are working again. Uh, this motor for the uh, Tirana sitting up there on the hoist and uh, getting into doing the um, unshrouding of those uh, valves uh, in the cylinder bores and more than that just making sure that those valves don't hit on the side of the bore as I um, put this motor back together. So uh, I'll show you where I'm at, what I'm doing and uh, it's great being in the shed. I'm getting a lot of time lately, really appreciating the time in the shed uh, but here we go, let's have a look. I'm well into the um, unshrouding, I suppose, of the valves, but more than that, uh, clearancing the valves on the 173 bore. Um, and basically following the method uh, that was suggested by Eddie at HSD, you can see here, I've basically traced around the gasket um, to show where the... Uh, the shrouding is or the valves come out and uh, and then grinding to those marks and you can see I've just started on this one here um, I've got I measured the uh, from the top of the piston to the top of the first ring and it's it's around about seven mil not quite seven mil and on all of these I'm only down just on five mil and as I said before, the pistons um, or the deck has been um, surfaced and machined. Uh, so the pistons have like five thou, uh, they're, uh, they're five thou down from the top of the deck. So basically I could come nearly seven mil down uh, and I'm staying up at about five. And I'm doing this all... Um, I've only got the first two valves without the springs on them. I went to buy a valve spring compressor yesterday and couldn't get one, um, but I'll get one of those next week because I want to take all of the um, all of the the springs off here and just do measurements on every valve, just making sure I've got the same sort of clearance. I reckon it's going to be pretty good on both of these at the moment. Uh, really good on number one cylinder, uh, and I just want to prove it doesn't take much to take them off that prove that I got that clearance on all of the valves and it should be because all of the reliefs are basically the same. So that's the method. Uh, stick your gasket on there, draw around it and then grind back uh, to that line. Um, Two-fold uh, benefit here is um, with the way the head is, it would have had good shrouding, like the um, the airflow, fuel flow, exhaust gas flow, all of that sort of stuff would have been inhibited uh, in these areas. So it's given me that that flow, uh, but also the biggest thing is the clearance of the valve, so I don't bend a valve when uh, when we're running the engine. That's where I'm at. Just so you can see it, um, here's the gasket sitting on now. Um, haven't done any more, but here's the gasket sitting on. You can see what I'm doing, relieving those areas out so that it uh, gives that clearance and unshrouds that area of the bore up into um, the head and the valves. Looking good. I'll get into it and finish these two off.
So this is the final check. Again, got to take the rest of these springs off and check every uh, cylinder independently, but I'll get there. So uh, originally what we had was closed position is just on 32 mil. Yep, 32 mil. So that's with the valve all the way up and closed on both of them. Push them down now to where they hit the bore. And on that one, ooh, I've got uh, 17 mil. And on that one, I've got 18 mil, which is the um, bigger valve. 1732. So uh, 17, 3 makes 20. 10 makes 30, so that's 13, 14, 15 mil I've got uh, till it touches the bottom there. 15 mil on this one, 14 mil on this one. And if we go over and have a look at the data, I'll just take you over there. What I worked out I needed was 12.34 and 12.8. So I've got 15 and 14, and that's with the gasket back on. So heaps of clearance on those now. Um, I was aiming for about a mil over, so um, we're doing pretty good. So we've just got to take those other valves off, valve springs off, and check the rest of the bores. So guys, that's where I'm at uh, with a little 173. I've got to get that uh, valve spring compressor. Um, Tomorrow's Monday, I'll go down and grab one of those and uh, just take those um, valve springs off and uh, check and refine what I've done on those bores. Uh, and then I'm on the path to putting the pistons back in, putting the crank back in, doing all the tensioning as I had already done. Um, but uh, now that I know that those valves have got clearance on the bores, it's going to make a big difference. So once I get the pistons back in, um, I'll do the um, the valve to bore check. Um, you just basically use a little bit of Play-Doh, uh, whack it on the pistons, um, do a cycle of the engine. And uh, I should really only need to do it on number one because they're all going to open the same distance. Uh, yeah, cycle the engine over and then just measure the thickness of the Play-Doh that's been squashed between the valve and the piston, uh, just checking those clearances. Been told you need about a millimetre. Um, I'll double check that before I do it, make sure I've got the right stuff. And uh, and then it's onwards and upwards and putting this motor back together. I've got everything there to put this together. So I've just been doing these valves, uh, valve to bore clearances and valve to piston clearances. And, uh, and then I can start assembling it back into this new front end. I'm here under the car. I said I was going to do a trial fit of that front end. Uh, it's up in the car. Um, I don't know whether you can see on the back here. Um, I'll get my finger up there. Oh, don't think I can do it. But on, on the back behind the brake there, you might see an old sash clamp. And... Uh, what I found was the, the front end had sprung where it fits up between the chassis rails uh, and I really needed that sash clamp, just squeezed it a little bit there and she slid up in beautifully and fits really easily. So I wanted to perfect that technique before I throw the engine and gearbox and everything on there and then struggle with getting it in because it's, uh, it's, it's a tight little fit and they need to be tight because it's... Uh, it's uh, the thing that's holding the car on the road and I want it nice and stiff and tight and with all those new bushes she is a tight fit in there but it does go in so that's good so uh, get that engine together uh, get the engine and gearbox all mounted onto this uh, cross member which is all new and uh, we're getting close anyway guys remember hit that like button really appreciate it take care and I will see you in the next video